and with Sue Wilson. And normally, this is not our live time. Not normally. But we are here at the warehouse. And what the heck? We've got a buffet to paint. And we thought everybody's been asking us to go live. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Come paint with us. Come paint with us. So if you are catching us on the replay, no worries that you missed the actual live. This is not our regularly scheduled live which are Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, well, it's bonus. Bonus live. It's bonus live. But no, we've been yeah, having... up for last week's miss. Yeah, we did miss last Thursday. Um, I had a personal situation come up and uh, at the last minute and just couldn't make it. Couldn't do it. So here so we are. So here we are. So this is actually a custom for a client. Um, she is opening a new brokerage. She came here shopping at the warehouse at Rave Home Staging. And while well, she came into Vintage B Design first and couldn't find what she liked, so she made an appointment to come in here at the warehouse and she found a whole lot of things she liked. She found one or two things, uh, like three hours later. Three hours later and, I don't know, quite a few thousand dollars later. So she she's going to have the whole office looking pretty darn good. Yeah, it's gonna, and it's all kind of going to be French country, which I love. So you I should love know French what country. we're doing. So, yeah. So we're going to start off, um, she doesn't like the shiny gold on these, but this is actually... Um, exactly brass. the kind of piece that she wanted, but she doesn't like the shiny, the shiny gold brass. So we are going to paint over the hardware, and then we are going to come back with the gemstone mousse, the gold gemstone mousse, Ooh. which is a matte gold, Neat. Okay. And, and put it over. So we're going to paint it all white. Um, we are using Bungalow 47 today, which is um, the color Subway Tile, which is a nice white. It's not a bright white, um, but it is still a nice, a nice. It's um. It's it's a warmer, a slightly warmer white, but not really a big, not really a cream. Do we need any kind of primer or anything over this since it's got like? So I don't, I don't think that's flat out flat on there. No, um, this definitely has a heavy poly. I think we're gonna be okay because we're good, using a good chalk paint. Um, if it's not, then we'll have to go back and and steal some primer from Nick's area. <laughs> well, all right. So we're gonna get started. So we'll be all over this one. So we are using the Klingon brushes today. I am using an 040. She is using an S50. 50. Nice and wide. Yeah, nice and wide. And wide. So, um, and I'm using this one because it holds a lot of paint on it, which is super helpful. You like a lot of paint. Yeah, this piece is pretty big, so we don't want to bore you too much. Um, yeah, the, we seem to be having really good coverage here. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm trying to find us on here in case anybody's actually watching with us live today. And we are on YouTube, not Facebook. God bless. That's where I'm always getting wrong. Changing things. I'm a little slow on the upkeep here. I'm. I'll figure it all out. And while I do, she'll have this thing finished. So this works out well for me. <laughs> I'm wearing my little apron today because I've been having issues with paint finding me. Yeah, here, I thought she got the apron for me, but apparently she got it for herself. Well. Which is totally fine, because if I really needed an apron, I was at the shop getting paint. I couldn't grab one. There was a bunch there. I don't even know where I keep my YouTube app. Pretty much all of my clothes are covered in paint. Unless it's something I wear on the cruise. Which might as well become paint clothes now, because... It's true. I'm surprised you don't bring paint when you go on a cruise. We paint, might have to you can paint your stateroom. We might have to work on that next time. Should we do a painting cruise? Oh, a painting cruise would be kind of fun. They really could put all that stuff on there, couldn't they? Good. Ooh, buffet makeover. That's us live right there. I found us! Woohoo! All right, there you are. Um, so you can see we're getting pretty good coverage. It does have a nice grippiness to it. So we're definitely getting a nice stick. All right, nobody knows we're here, so that's good. Normally, on this piece, I would have actually taken the hardware off, but since she doesn't want the hardware um, for Steen and she doesn't want it black or anything, it just made the most sense to go ahead and leave it on and paint over it. I pitched the idea to her based on what she wanted, and she loved it. So. This is the plan. Actually, I'm gonna take these out. I just think it's gonna be easier. Also, something I don't do very often. 
It's true. But I probably don't do it very often because I mostly blend when I'm painting over hardware. So, there is that. Apparently that is the, uh, where the silverware goes. Hmm? I always like those little built in with the drawers. Yeah. So we'll just move this out of the way. So nobody's joining us right now? It's just us? It looks to be us. Well, then I'm not going to ask anybody. Wait, who we got up there? Hey, Bree's up there. Upcycled by Bree. Bree, hello, Bree. Jamie Ray Vintage. Nope, she's here too. Hey! Hey! So now we're having a little impromptu live. Impromptus are fun. Impromptu, impromptu. We figured we needed to paint this buffet today. Because I really have about seven pieces of furniture to paint for this woman who is, uh, she's a broker locally. And um, she's opening a new brokerage on Friday. Ooh, grand opening. I think on Friday. Exciting. So, so we're going to be painting like crazy this week. So we'll be doing a lot of painting. You may have more opportunities to catch us live. You know, why not? If we're going to be here, why not bring you along for the ride? That's kind of what I was thinking. I've had people telling me for the last couple weeks that they miss seeing us live. Which just seems crazy to me. Yeah. We're fun, we're entertaining. I tell you, after that, I don't know if anybody saw my kitchen organization. <laughs> after that, I'm just glad we painted something. You did not enjoy your, your kitchen organization, huh? I mean, organizing is not my forte. <laughs> it is not. I believe this to be true. Yeah, even though we're long enough, you know it's not true. Um, I need to get better at it. And I've been following the shows and stuff. She says impromptu live streams are the best. You're right, Jamie, they're the best. Let's see, what we got, what we got, what we got. Just got my lavender and red bug pen. Ooh. I remember seeing that one too. Let's see. Oh, uh, Brie missed us. That's good. You like being missed. Yeah, Jamie, if you're still there, I'm excited to get the chicken. The giant rooster with mm -hmm. the sunflowers. It's gonna go in my garden. Bree says organizing makes her happy, so um, I don't understand that. What do you mean happy? How can that be happy? I am going to do a little bit of painting on the rooster because I really want the sunflowers to be sunflower colored, not gray. She does love her sunflowers. I do. I, I bought it really because the sunflowers were speaking to me. The sunflower butt said everything to her. It did. Um, I got a little chastising after buying it, but... <laughs> But, um, but the sunflowers were definitely, definitely speaking to me. You and your birds. birds. You love the birds. I do love birds. I do love the birds. It's true. I'm, I mean, I'm not usually roosters or chickens. That's true. That's usually I'm usually not farm more. Birds. What? It's not usually farm it's birds. It's not usually farm birds. It's more like birds Song that birds. are in trees, songbirds. Things like that. Um, but, I don't know if sunflowers were just speaking to me. It felt very French country to me, that rooster with the sunflowers. Oh, yeah. And when I saw you were painting it gray, it was lovely. You did a great job, um, but not my jam. Then I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to buy it. But then as you kept painting it, I was like, no, I really need those sunflowers. <laughs> oh. well, I should be looking when I'm thrifting for everything with sunflowers. That's on. right. Is you that should it? know that by now. So I have to say, you you make me happy when you do your shows. But I feel terrible that I cannot keep up with you. Sue keeps telling me it's not a contest. But I feel like a slacker that I, when I take a day off and I'm like, I don't understand. I feel so lazy. Jamie's doing this. She's building a house. You can go build a house if you want to. <laughs> I 
There's a cat house that's just waiting to be finished. Waiting to be finished. We'll go finish that one. You'll have happy cats. I mean, who doesn't want happy cats? But I will say, you're younger than me. She's younger than me. Well, them young types, man, they got a little bit more energy. Lord knows I ain't got no energy. and you probably would prefer I wouldn't do that. That's probably the right place. Yes. Yeah, so Sue was all like, wait, we're, we're taking this gray dresser and painting it white? Really? Yeah, I love this little buffet this way. It was so pretty. And she hates painting white? I do hate painting white. I have so many reasons for hating white. I hate white. I hate it. When I paint white, all I see is the gray. There's like gray. You get a layer on and it looks gray. And then you put a second coat on thinking it's gonna come out bright white. And then it still looks gray. And then I start to wonder after the third coat, are my eyes just seeing gray? Because sometimes that's, that could be. I mean, maybe there's gray in the paint color. I don't know. But when I painted all those kitchens, oh my gosh, no, mm -mm, ain't doing it anymore. So when we first started staging and we'd give a quote, and write a recommendation to paint a kitchen white that had like old cabinets. They'd always ask for a referral to somebody to paint. And we didn't really have anybody. And well, we needed the money. So new business, gotta work. New business, gotta work. So rather than giving anybody the money, we were often the ones in there painting all of the kitchens. <sighs> Stripping wallpaper. Oh, good lord, have I gotten tired of stripping wallpaper. Well, I got good at it. You get good at it. Learn a few tricks. That's always handy. What's the secret to wallpaper? That, that downy. Downy is the secret to wallpaper removal. It sounds crazy, and not off-brand downy. The actual downy. I mean, as much money as I've spent on things like the, the Zep strippers, no, no, those, those brands, those... Those things, they, hmm, not as good. Downy is the key. You want to strip wallpaper? It's all about the downy. Is that my phone? Are you watching the phone? Oh no, let me, let me check. I gave it to you so you could check, because you don't trust me. From what I recall of our last live, you said I wasn't telling you what people were saying. <laughs> Jamie said she just organized her pantry. And that I shouldn't feel bad about being tired. Look, you just moved clothes. into a new house. Your pantry should be organized. Everything new is going into it. Well, you know that's not true. So, I've lived in this house for five years now. Five, six years, something like that. Something like that. And I'm just saying that we had all these plans. There were so many plans. Oh, we've so many plans. So many plans to get done. Time. Time. Money. Time and money. They go hand in hand. Really do. I feel like they shouldn't, but they really do. And it always seems like when we have the money, we don't have the time. And when we have the time, we don't have the money. Usually that's how that works. I think there's, there's probably some Murphy's Law. And everybody's been talking about getting stuff done because of COVID and being able to be home. <laughs> What the heck is quarantine? <laughs> I hear about this quarantine thing. I, I don't understand. We haven't experienced it yet. It has been deemed that I'm an essential worker. Yes. I take pictures. How is that essential? Because we're essential and so you're essential. Is it essential for somebody who wants to actually buy a house? And, and it's not a complaint, really. It just is like... Everybody talks about all the stuff they're getting done. We ain't got done anything done. Nothing. Nothing's done. Yeah, well, we've got a new roof. Yeah, we did get a new roof this week. That's true. We did get a new roof this week. That we've been planning since May. Like, we've been with an, an insurance adjuster since May on this. We were hoping to remodel the kitchen over the holidays. Because we... Can't see nobody. 
um, because we got we we applied for a a refi of the house in February of last year. How long it took to refinance the house? Oh, it's still not done yet. Oh, Lord. In February, we applied to refinance the house. And we're approved. And we're still waiting to refinance the house. Are they waiting for the rates to go back up so they could charge you more? I know, okay. right? <laughs> I mean, we have a rate lock and all of that, so I don't think so, but... they have, we've, been, we've been doing this long enough that they... That They've had to redo the appraisal now because the appraisal has expired. Oh, Lord. We told them we weren't paying for that. So I have to say, if you want to refinance your house right now, do not go through Navy Federal. They're just taking their time. They are so taking their time. That's not true with everybody then? Jimmy Ray said the pantry just had boxes on the floor for two weeks. <laughs> See? Easy. Yeah, I don't All you gotta do is put the cereal on the shelf, right? <laughs> you got five kids, just open the boxes, they'll all be eaten. That's pretty much true. Get a couple gallons of milk and throw all the cereal out there and say have it. I feel like I need to buy Jamie Ray a Tabala. <laughs> I don't know, Tavala for a family of five. I guess everybody can eat on their own terms. Yeah, but, I mean, it might be expensive, I suppose. But I don't know. How much junk food does kids eat? How bad can it be? We love our Tavala. That's been a handy little item to have in the house. That's been the best thing that we got this year. We ran out of meals and we were all like, man. What, we have to cook now? Makes life easier to come home and just pop something in that is as quick and easy as a, as a frozen dinner, but it's fresh. And it tastes like actual home-cooked food. So those have been nice. Especially since... I usually have to cook, and I don't want to. It doesn't taste like you just stuck a bag meal in, which is what I always feel like things taste like. You missed the bottom of that foot over there. That's probably true. I'll believe you. Oh, I'm going to splatter you with some paint. I think it's my turn, isn't it? I mean, you are the one up there. Seems fair. Watch, somehow I'll still manage to splatter you. <laughs> I will probably have the whole backside covered in paint or something's going to land on my head or I don't know what it is, but I feel like lately the paint has really been targeting me. Alright, one coat. There, you set my foot down here. Oh, way down at the bottom. Way down at the bottom. Another nice floor that we're trashing. I know. It'll all come up, right? I mean, put some mineral spirits, yeah. Okay. Back to the drawer top, so now they can't see me. Because <laughs> I'm on the floor. All right, back down. Back down. All right. And lowering. How's that? How's that? How's that? That's good. So you see that even though this had kind of a shiny, a shininess to it, it actually is sticking really nicely for the first coat. And over that dark gray, this white is is doing really nicely. Surprisingly, it is doing pretty good. Spot, which means I'm gonna have a little spot. So I can... did I paint this part here? Yep. You didn't on your side. That's why I'm concerned. Did I get it? Did I get it? And then this is the curve up in here. You can get that side. Well, I'm looking at your side. Does my side need it? Yeah. Oh, well, see, I didn't know. I can't see it from here. No, I don't want to stick my head in your paint. Because I just told you, I don't want paint. Because we do tend to paint ourselves a lot. And we're not painting ourselves, we're painting each other. Huh? Sure. 
caring, right? That's right, that's right. Alright. Are we over here yet? No. Should I start drying? Yes. Alright. Move this out of my way. I know I put the... And we do oh, have the quiet one here. I probably didn't let this dry enough because I'm seeing it's pulling a little bit. It's not doing as good a coverage as it usually does. So, oh well. Now when we're done with this, we are gonna distress it so that the gray comes through. That was the plan. Oh, is that the plan? That's the plan. That's a good plan. I like that plan. I believe this is going to be her coffee bar. Ah, this will be a nice little coffee bar. Place to keep all your stuff for coffee. That's right. Coffee. Yeah, I want a coffee. Oh. Do you have your phone again? Oh, I stole my phone okay. back yes, ma'am. I was just trying to make sure you know something. Okay. Okay. So what did everybody do with their weekend? I organized my pantry. What did you do? I did very little. I think the most exciting thing I did all weekend was look for nails after the roofing got done. I do not want the puppies to step on the nails. Did you watch the end of the organization video to see how adorable my grandson is? I haven't seen that video yet. And he is adorable. It's on Luke's birthday today. Ugh. Oh yeah, Jamie, we paint I paint fast like you do. I um, paint slow. I'm I, <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and I go by the philosophy done is better than perfect. I want it to look nice. But, but honestly, I'm distressing it at the end, so how perfect does it have to be? You're probably the only person I know that paints as fast as I do. It did my heart good to see Zeb doing a little swirling. <laughs> he decided for himself it was a little faster on that on that day. And it's funny because I was painting, I don't remember what I was painting in the kitchen. I was stenciling something in the kitchen and John came in and I was pouncing. And John's like, what are you doing? You're pouncing. And like, there's a time and place for pouncing. Different techniques for different things. Hi, Elaine. Yeah, we're doing an impromptu, so um, this wasn't scheduled or anything. We just decided since we were here and we needed a paint, people have been saying they missed us being on live, so we thought we'd come on and we're surprised and say hello. Since we have to paint anyway, why not paint with friends? Right? And I'm not very chatty, so I'm not fun to paint with. Yeah, usually when Sue and I paint together, I put an audio book on. That's true. Because neither of us talk. We spend, we'll spend like four hours painting together, but neither of us will say a word. Painting is definitely a good way to audio books. Yeah. It's kind of like a road trip. We put on the audio books, and she usually drives, and I sleep. So I get the story, you get an end. It's just how I like it. And my oldest baby girl closed on her house in Georgia the other day. So I gotta go road trip coming soon. Yes. I'm very excited. Her Christmas present was some new furniture for her living room, but she hasn't had the house, so I haven't been able to give it to her. So, 
everything is closed. It's officially hers. They got keys. That's right. Everything. It started moving in over the weekend. Let's see. Bree did a uh, booth reset, which is awesome. Oh, nice. A booth reset feels really nice. We moved into a new booth at Great American Antique Mall um, over at Phillips and... You said Shad, right? Shad Road, yep. Um, so we still have a lot of work to do there. Um, oh, did you go by there today? I did go by there today. Looks pretty good. I mean, it looks okay. It, it's not quite um, up to par yet. We need a lot more stuff in there for sure. Um, not much on the walls, so we definitely got to do that. Let's see. Bree said, yep, she got in some Valentine floral and new furniture. Very nice. Nice. And uh, Elaine got in some old windows. I love me some old windows. Mm. I love chippy grungy windows. Chippy grungy windows are nice. He was hesitant to swirl because he didn't tape it down. I mean, if you're holding it down, I, I hardly ever tape anything down, um, to be honest. But... He's good enough. He doesn't probably need to. I mean, it's always good practice, but that's one of those do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. In my opinion, we tell people to, to t tape it down and then we don't. Me, I would tape everything down. Yeah. I'm the one that would mess it up. I'm planning on making some grain sack pillows and the grain sack powder, um, the, the stencils on some pillows for the office for this woman as well. So I have to do up some so she can see what they look like, but she really loved that idea. So nice. I will be doing up some of those. So I'll probably do a quick little video on doing those. But I have a bunch of pillows and that's what she wants on the new furniture. So. when we get to learn techniques from each other. I yes. love that. It's my favorite part of watching other YouTubers. I mean, I have my own painting technique styled down, obviously. Um, I've been painting a long time. I'm not new to painting. I'm new to making a business out of it. Well, actually, not even necessarily that, just a business in today's world, because last time I was a professional crafter, the internet didn't exist. <laughs> and I'm not lying. That was not a thing. Um, and we were stationed on an island, so, you know, life was very different. We were on, we were living in Hawaii. And I did used to say I loved doing craft fairs and stuff in Hawaii. The craft life in Hawaii was amazing because you would go to the craft fairs, which were almost exclusively outdoors. There were the holiday ones, sometimes were in Coliseum or something, but the, most of them were exclusively outdoors at parks. And so you're sitting in a Hawaiian park and everybody's coming up to you telling you how amazing and how wonderful you are and throwing piles of money at you. Well, that's always a nice day. I'm like, that's not, I mean, how could you ask for a better day than that? Beautiful weather, beautiful vistas, everybody's nice, throwing money at you. If people living in Hawaii aren't nice, they do not deserve to live in Hawaii. I'll say sometimes the locals don't appreciate the Americans. The mainlanders? Because, you know, they are Americans. Well, sometimes they don't consider themselves that. Let's say that. Sometimes, you know, they don't for the white people. I was listening to NPR last week about Tonga? Tonga. Yeah, I did think there was something on Tonga about it. Here. How they don't want to become uh, a state. Because they don't want to be like Hawaii. It might be a U.S. territory. Samoa. It's Samoans. 
and they don't want to be a U.S. territory. They don't want to change their way of life. Apparently, I didn't fling paint at you, just your phone. Oh, well, that's fine. Who needs a nice clean phone? <sighs> you know, I mean, I think it's still like Puerto Rico is not a state yet. Well, and then there's lots of debate over there as to whether or not they want to be a state. At this point, they're kind of the redheaded stepchild, as far as America seems to think. They seem small to be completely independent, but I think they could do it if they wanted to. Hey, if you haven't been to Puerto Rico, it's beautiful. You should go to Puerto Rico. I miss cruising. <laughs> I miss the cruises. I miss vacation. Vacation. I'm not saying now vacation would be nice. Even just going to the theme park for a day. Beautiful thing about Florida. Orlando's not too far away. No matter where you are in Florida. When the panhandle, I guess it could become far, but. Then you just make a weekend out of it. I feel like since, since as Jamie likes to say, the situation, <laughs> since the situation, we, uh, we've just had issue after issue after issue that, like, it can't catch a break to even consider taking a couple days off. Unfortunately, had set a huge trajectory for growth based on the previous year, and well, that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> and the all the stuff that we did to to be able to grow kind of shot us in the foot to manage things. That was a bad time to to start new ideas last year. It kind of felt like we were in a too-big-to-fail situation. Only failing felt imminent. Oh, I think I need... Look. You said a uh, charger is... Uh, up on that table. Right there, hanging off the table. You can see it underneath the table. Oh, I see it. Okay. See, now I'm seeing the gray. Got that second coat going on. It looks gray to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem with my charger. Uh, that's a problem with the charger. So, we may not make it much longer on the live. <laughs> See, it's always something. didn't get plugged in and break off in the phone, right? No, it's not in the phone. All right, so you just need another one that, that will work with the phone, right? Yeah. All right, I'm on it. Oh, I'm overpainting that. Stop overpainting that. Don't overwork it, Sue! Stop yeah. it! Then you just start lifting the paint off. Yeah, I know it! Oh, those are those lessons that I keep forgetting about. All right, you need a charger. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall return. I know there's one up here. So we still have half of our office in boxes in this place.
Carrie, you have a rental home on top of all of this? Oh yeah, swap meets were a lot of fun. So Elaine, we are using um, uh, Subway Tile from Bungalow 47. We don't do a ton with this color. I actually typically prefer this for blending. I don't think the coverage is as good as Dixie Belle, um, but I prefer it for blending over Dixie Belle. But we are really low on Dixie Belle right now in the store. I have to put it in order tonight. We like we are totally out of every size of fluff right now. So, which is what I planned on painting this. This is a very similar to Dixie Belle's fluff, and. Um, so I decided I would grab one of these because I had some, but I do think the coverage on the Dixie Belle is a little better. All right. Now, I've seen somewhere around here we've got a box full of new chargers, but I don't know where they are, so I stole this one from the stagers. Don't let me forget to put it back. Yeah, the stagers might not be happy about that. I don't want them being angry with me. Yeah, we don't need our stagers angry. We need work to keep happening. <laughs> All right, a little movement. And we've got power. Whoop, whoop, power! You've got the power! It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, we met this morning at 9 to go over our plans for the coming year at both the, um, the store and the staging company. When I sat down this last weekend to do our business plan for 2021, I already kind of started it, but we're doing traction. Um, if you own a business, it's a really great book to sit and do your, with your company. And... Uh, it really showed where how much the company has changed since we did this last year. Oh really? Well, I guess there has been a lot of changes. There's a lot of changes. It was interesting to see the goals that we met and the goals that we didn't. We did not make the financial goals. We did actually make a lot of the structural goals, though. Wouldn't even know what that means. So we um, actually did our standard operating procedures manual. Um, we unfortunately didn't roll it out to the team, but we have it completed. That's good. So this year we're actually going to roll it out to everybody. I know everybody worked on it hard last year. Yep. Yeah. So everybody will get to see the fruits of their labor, finally. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So I did know you were living in a rental. I was thinking when you said cleaning out the rental that you also had a rental house that you were cleaning. I was like, holy cow, even more work for you. I was, I was dying a little bit inside for you on that, Jamie Ray. <laughs> Somebody needs a vacation. I believe that woman right there does. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. And my husband is super jealous of your water fountain. <laughs> I can see that with John. <laughs> I believe he probably wants a water fountain now too. The man cannot pass.